Alright, hey art peeps, welcome in today. I got a fun, fantastic little project for you guys having to do with um, making your own little Christmas village. So that's what we're gonna get started on today. I got my black sheet of paper, which is a little bit different. This project is really based off these little village houses and little uh, buildings and businesses on here. I got a little Santa's little workshop, got a little hotel on here. I got all sorts of different ones. A lot of these have a style that a famous artist that I know of, Thomas Kincaid, that used to do a lot of winter scene. Tried to capture a little of that style. Your bottom, almost like a horizon line, um, but I want you to put a line right down the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect. Followed by that line, I'm going to have another one really, really close. And that's actually going to be our sidewalk. That's going to be like where our villa is kind of set on. So I'm going to start out with one building right in the middle, and I'm going to try to play off some of those easy and simple shapes, even if I would just look at this one on the side. You could clearly pick out either a rectangle or a square on here and then set off with a triangle, even a smaller one of the same shapes on the top. So really try to look at these objects um, when you have those in front of you because I actually do this like a still life that's set up on each of the desks in my classroom. So I'm going to add a rectangle or I should say a square. I guess if I wanted to make it a rectangle, I could split it down the middle and do kind of side by side. And then a triangle on the top of it. You can always add some windows in there. The more details I think that you put on these, um, the better that they will look. And really, I think looking at them in class, um, you can really start to look at these, and a lot of people have these at their house too, but you can really start to pick out some of those cool details, um, whether it's the bricks on here, or the little windows that have little designs, even little uh, evergreen Christmas trees kind of around the sides. Um, there's some really cool details that I think you can add on here. So that will be good for this building right here. I'm gonna go on to the next one. I'm gonna do three, so I think one on each side. So I'm gonna go through that real quick, design one on this side and one on this side, and try to make it even and balanced. So let's go through that real quick. All right, so I got a pretty good start with some simple shapes on here on the top part of this. And on the bottom part, I'm gonna set aside as almost like the road down here. Um, but I did wanna show you some of my other examples since I have some in front of me here, but I also have a whole bunch of these in my classroom just to get you some inspiration. So over here, I got a whole bunch of these little cool things. Hopefully you can just pick up some little details. You can pause this at any time. There's a little city hall, a little door and Christmas wreath on here. Um, there's a toy shop. There's all sorts of different buildings. I like the little bricks on there. All these little details, even the snow from the roof, um, the little church windows on here. Here's a little fire station. It's got the little ticket booth on here. All these little details really, really help. Um, antique shop. So it, some of them have one level. Some are kind of multiple levels where they just keep kind of going and going. And all those little details definitely will help out. I like the little crisscross um, kind of diamonds on the windows here in the bakery. Um, so there's all sorts of different ones. So you can pause this at any time and pick up some of those details. But now let's go back to finish it mine. Okay, so back to the colors. Um, I have these metallic FX uh, crayons. They're like metallic, and they have like these little sparkles on them. I don't know if you can see it there. You can kind of see it on the light. But I have a whole container, and that's where I've done this project before with kids um, in class, where I just set out a bunch of these different ones, and there's all sorts of different colors, but you can see kind of the sparkles. Um, that are on there and it almost gives like a little glisten or a shimmer and shine uh, On the houses on the buildings on the snow I give that quality that when you color on here It really gives that kind of gloss to it, especially the more that you go over it. It has that kind of metallic quality 
on there. Find this in Sharpie. I'm probably gonna leave some of the pencil just to, again, make some of it pop. So follow through me as I go through this real fast. Ready for it? Here it is, bam, there it is. And I also have this awesome one too that I did last year as an example. Um, just to show you, this one was on gray sheet of paper. So you can do gray or black, um, see which one you like better. I like how it still has that glistening uh, feel when you look at it in the light. But this is it, this is the project for this week. So thank you guys for viewing. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art class. We'll talk to you guys later.